Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. Today we are going to build the um, High Altar Ritual. Um, it's quite difficult when it happens. I've tried it a few times and it didn't work. So let's see if I can actually succeed with doing it today. Let's get started. You'll see I've built a funny little contraption here as it happens. Um, <clears throat> I hope there's not actual mobs. Let me just double check that. I'm just having a look at some mobs on on the other underground that's fine um i built this funny little contraption in this is because it's one two three four five six so the seventh block you've got to have the master ritual stone for this for the high altar one um the assembly of the high altar what this does is it builds oh, tells you actually it builds a, an altar out of the components inside the connected chest so let's get up here. I've got enough height to jump this. I can jump that. I've got a chest in here with some bits and pieces in it. I'm not sure exactly how what we're going to need from here. But what I'm going to do is to build a tier three altar. Um, I know I know we need 28 blank ruins for a tier three, and I know it needs a blood altar. So basically, that should do the trick. We can try with this lot. These are ritual stones I don't need in there. Actually, I don't need these in my inventory at the moment. I'll just put them in there. I'll just put them and get them out of the way and put them in there because it's filling up my inventory. Actually, I do need these because I haven't built it yet, have I? Whoops. So, what I'm going to do is actually put these the things we need in here. So I'm going to put some stone, just some blank stone, in, just in case it needs it. Ruins, altar, and a uh, some glowstone. That should do a tier three. First of all, we have to assemble this thing. Now, it's, the reason it's up high is because it needs a lot of space. It needs a huge amount of space. It makes me wonder whether it does have mod, more mods. And you'll see here, I've, I'm pointing on it, you can see the bits. But I found out a trick. If I shift and right click this, these these pattern of where the blocks are gonna be stays. It doesn't disappear, as you can see. So now we can, I've checked, you see, and made sure that I can actually assemble this thing without hitting any other pieces so that's the reason it's got to be up that high is because the bottom ones of these is that low are that low um like that so let's assemble this up now so there's 104 blocks it uses to do this so that takes a few seconds to actually assemble as you can see um i'm not exactly sure what the order it's putting things in i've done this this ritual a few times. If you don't, if it fails, quit the game completely and start again. It's still busy, isn't it? Yeah, now it's done it. So we get this pattern here. So it's like a sort of um, an area we're going to build the altar into. So now we, we've got everything that we need in here, and then we'll activate the the thing here. I think we can simply put. I'm not sure whether it works with a lever. But we'll try it. Let's turn the lever on and activate this. So now energy is flowing through this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down and hit this thing, and you'll see why. If I can do it, that is. Can I reach that from here? Yes, I can. It was too too fast. Try again. No. Haha, <laughs> I can't do it. Tell you what, up we go. And try again from up here. You'll see why in a second as soon as we hit this. It creates a whole bunch of lightning bolts. And it's working. And it's working in the way I'd expect it to work. So each bolt puts down a different block. So that's it. We should have a tier 3 or 2 in here now. Can I get up there and I will check whether it's working or not? Oh, yes, I can, just about. Actually, if this fails, I can always use the air signal, can't I? <laughs> now, what's it doing? Oh, okay, it's actually putting down the next bits for the stone. The last time I did this, it didn't do that because I didn't have the stone in the chest here. Unfortunately, the chest, as you now see, is inaccessible <laughs> but we can check the altar and sure enough it's a tier 3 altar so 
if I want to put more stuff into the chest, I'm not sure how to do that now, because everything's in the way, because the Master Ritual Stone's in the way of it, and I can't get into it. But I probably can break the blocks. But what we can also do, and this is what I wanted to do in the first place, was to take some sea lanterns and replace the glowstone with sea lanterns. See, this pick here's got silk touch in it, so I can quite happily break these without actually losing anything. That's a good test. And then we just stand up here, put those on top of it. Um, I'm not sure whether it stays at tier 3 while we're doing this. Let's double check it. Yeah, it's still, 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 still it's tier 3. Cause so they are interchangeable. But... What did I just do? Oh, I left, I left clicked it, didn't I? I right clicked it, but the, the wrong thing to do. Try again. Haha. <laughs> I got it that time. So that's how, can I reach this one from it? If I can, it might be easier to break it. No, nope, can't. My jump's too high at the moment. So I press shift and jump. Oops, that's what I didn't want to do. Why don't I get that? See, I'm now in a funny place now. If I have a look at F5, I'm standing here, but I'm actually not standing here, as you can see. Um, actually, in the stone. Let me just jump out of this. Yeah. Weird stuff that goes on sometimes. So, what you've got to do with this one, I got it that time. Let's just jump over here, break this one. Now. This should still be tier 3 altar. Let's have a look. Life Essence 0 and tier 3. Fantastic. So we can then carry on. So obviously I put some stuff in um, for these blocks. I'm, I'm a bit puzzled why it is so high. Um, because it's much higher than the other one over here. And... The other one over here, well, could be one block higher than we've got it at the moment. So I'm a bit puzzled as to why we need so much so much height. It's probably because you could build this up to a tier 6. And I don't think tier 6 altars exist in this current version of Blood Magic. It might be possible. I'm not, I haven't tried it. Maybe we can try it with some putting down some uh, clusters. Because you, if you put down clusters, it may well work. I'm not sure. Anyway, so that aside, you've seen this ritual, and it does actually work eventually. I'm going to press the I don't want to press the four and make sure that everything's lit up well. They're not, of course, because of the blocks underneath here. Now, what I want to do next is to actually remove this um, ritual because it's activated. We can actually remove all of the blocks on the outside of this, which I think is probably going to be a good idea. Let's just get the um, this one. This is that dismantler and right click the ritual stone. If I can get up to that, I can't actually get up to that. Let's just have put that a block on the side of this uh, of any material I like. Probably the ritual stone will do. <laughs> Gosh, now we should be able to dismantle the whole thing. So, one click will dismantle all of the bits on the sides, and the second click will remove the master ritual stone. So we can now see in the chest what we've got left in it. So we did keep we did keep some stone in there, but obviously you can't access this chest. <laughs> it, it does say you can use a connected inventory. That didn't seem to work either. I couldn't get it to connect to anything at all in here. So that's that one done. That was actually quite a hard one as it happened. But it looks quite cool, doesn't it? So if we, I suppose if we activated it again and put in some more blocks, he would put those blocks down but that's the one thing i tried i had too many blocks in there before not the exact amount and it didn't build it he started to build a tier four altar and when i put more blocks in it didn't carry on so, so the hint is put the right number of blocks in first time but it's cool nice saves a well doesn't save any time really because <laughs> it took more time to set it up. It took more time to build the ritual stones. 104 ritual stones takes uh, uh, quite a lot of building as it happens. Um, and of course, by the time you get to this level, you've got to get quite reasonably high anyway. So I'm not quite sure the purpose of this one. But let's have a look at a few more rituals while we're doing this. One thing you'll notice here I've got two more sickles of holding. You can colorize these. A little bit not a huge amount 
it doesn't only does the edges so for example in one of these chests here I've got some dyes this is the four standard colors I guess so we can then craft these with this one this one's actually been colored white it's actually hard to see that it's white oh do I need to do this in an anvil maybe I have to do this in an anvil 105 levels let's just get one level out here I have got an angle around this somewhere I believe yes yeah indeed so this is it this is yellow it's hard to see that it's yellow let's just try replacing that for blue my blue is better you can see it a little bit better than that one and red yes that's not too bad and green you can hardly see tell you what we'll do we'll color one of these red and we'll call the other one um, e blue. But of course, now I've got no, no X, XP out of the thing. Let's get another um, XP. I thought it was doing that right. This, yeah, this is the one I want to color blue. And you can see they are slightly different. But the difference is fairly minor. <laughs> so there we go. That's that bit done. So I thought I'd show you those. So you can see if you can identify them quickly. The red one definitely shows up reasonably well, doesn't it? And the villages are multiplying like crazy. Because they've got all this food back here. And they're actually farming the food. And feeding themselves. And you'll notice I've got all these trucks going around like this. <laughs> They're not actually going from the where they're supposed to be coming out of, but they walk onto those trucks and get picked up round there, go round there. Anyway, that's that. So the next one, let's have a look at these these things. Let's get rid of the stuff that I don't want in my inventory here. The colours, the dyes I don't really need at the moment, do I? And uh, probably not the stone, but we'll just yeah, we'll put the stone in there. Those are imperfect ritual stones. Don't mind about those. The thing is, actually, I'm getting quite a lot of clerics as well. That's strange. I'm wondering why I'm getting that. So the next thing we can do is we can have a look at the other rituals. One of the two of these rituals is quite neat. So we've done Assembly of the High Altar. We've done Mark of the Falling Tower. We've done Serenade of the Nether. And that's the one basically just does lava blocks. Full Spring gives you growth, I think. No, it's the water one. It generates water source blocks. Just above the Master Ritual Stone. This one generates uh, Cobblestone. The Volcanus Figurus. That generates Cobblestone. Clash of the Timonum, which is one that chops down trees. So we've seen that one. Ritual of the Green Wheel, we did that last time. It's a growth one. Ritual of Interdiction. And Ritual of Interdiction is one that basically pushes mobs away from you. So we can actually... Tr we can demonstrate that. I don't think it's a very big um, ritual, so we just have a look. Put the master ritual stone down right around about here. And how is that's eight? How many does it need? It does only need eight. So if I put it down, it will push all mobs. I think it's the one that pushes all mobs away from you. Let's have a look. Push all mobs away from the master ritual stone. So, but it's only a six area, block six areas. So to actually do, demonstrate that better, because the villages are also included as mobs. Um, let's just disassemble this. These won't be very expensive. Right, let's just put it down very near to this guy. It will need to be around about here, will do, won't it? I'll have to go and get the... Oh, he's walked away. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that wasn't very helpful. Never mind. We, but that's what he does anyway. So let's get rid of that. So the next one along. Hymn of Siphoning. Basically pulls up water and lava from in an, in an area. Ritual of Speed makes you run fast. I haven't actually done this one either. And I'm not even sure that it's that. I can't think of the uses of some of these to be honest with you. So we need. Oh, I see. That's 
just check how many stones are there. There are about nine stones. Let's have a look. Eight, yeah, total nine stones. That's fine. So let's assemble this and activate it. This is a torch in the way. No, there's not a torch in the way. Oh, a torch in the way here. Ah, yes. Uh, there's a nine cents. It's a dusk one, so it's one that you can only do once you've reached uh, tier three, I think. Whoa! He throws for that and throws you away. <laughs> Does that work in both directions? No, it works in the direction you put it down in. I see. <laughs> so obviously to assemble that is going to be more fun actually it's not too difficult of course just right click that one like that <laughs> so there you have that i suppose you could use that as a bridge to go across uh, a ravine or something like that it would be quite useful next one along the line that was ritual of grounding the ritual of grounding is really for blaze farm so the, the blazes will jump up on you i think it would yeah Ritual of a high jump. I'm not sure how many stones we need for this. Let's look. 12. Okay, I would like to remove this one out of the way. Let's try this one. It's basically it's a jumping one. Give you a jump boost. Now, is it, are there 12 there? There aren't. So which basically means it's going to be one block above where I've put it at the moment. So let's just fix that. You can see there's four times two here, which is eight. So instead of doing that, we'll put down a block of some description. We'll use a, a standard ruin, I think, a ritual stone, and put the master ritual stone on top of it. Then you can break this one down. And I moved the thing out of the way, which is not what really what I wanted to do. And shift right click that. And sure enough, that you can see this is the one that ones that works that way. Let's activate this. Now, when you stand on the Master Ritual Stone, which obviously is going to only happen if you actually get near it, it throws you up. You don't take fall damage as long as you land back on the Master Ritual Stone. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually break it as we get there. Yep. <laughs> that was well done, wasn't it? Next one. That was the Ritual of the High Jump. Laying the Filler. This is a this is a mining or this is a farming one again. It's quite a large one. Let's go and set it up over here. Where well, there's some space. I probably need to break all of this down as it happens. Um, let's do this. Left a few funny bits, didn't it, when I did that? <laughs> but it did break down all the ritual stones as well, which is actually um, quite good. But I have to break this down. I'll do that in time. So the next thing is, where's the master ritual stone? I should have actually, yeah, laying the filler. What this one does, as you can see, it creates a, basically a corners. So everything inside here, will it will start to plant stuff. So let's just set it up. Now, I think you have to put a chest on top of this. Let's just have a look. It should tell me when I'm actually... If I look at this thing, it should tell me something about it. Grabs blocks that are inside the connected inventory and places them into the world. Oh, and places them into blocks, that says that. Where's it gone to? And basically, it's going to fill in this area here. So let's go and get some saplings. I've actually got, I should have plenty of saplings there because this is a lot of oak trees and of course I've built the the bound pickaxe and the bound pickaxe works the same way as the bound um, sorry the bound axe works the same way as the bound pickaxe so one big right click and it knocks down pretty well most everything there most of it that is a few blocks hopefully I can get it with this one Sometimes you can't, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I've got too much inventory now. 
So I've already got two and a half stacks of almost two and a half stacks of wood. Let's just use some of these and break these two down. I think these are. Let's just place some of these down here. I'm going to get this last piece here. Can it reach that? I see it can. Well, actually, I don't think I was touching it. I'm quite sure I don't fully understand that either. I will be honest with you. Which times it does and which times it doesn't um, pick everything up. Right, let's just check the other. Ah, oh, yes, we've not got enough space, I guess. It is activated. Uh, I've got some space in one of these chests, I guess. Let's put those into there like that we want actually the we want this and we want a chest so i'll make some make a chest is that everything from there no i'm still picking up stuff aren't i i to pick up another apple so we've got plenty of seeds let's just go make another chest because i know i haven't got any prepared And let's then go and connect an inventory to this. So, just put those in there and then activate it and it'll start to fill in the, the holes. As you can see. So really it's a, it's a tree farming one. And then you'd put in the, um, the Clash of the Timberman at, to pick up the to hack the trees down and then after that you'd probably I hope hopefully this is going to work it might be better to actually put the chest underneath that well, actually while that's doing that I'm going to just break those down and I'll see in a few seconds as you can see I'm not clear that way um, if you break a tree of course now it's going to get replanted till of course it uses up all the inventory in here so what I'm now going to do is before these trees start to grow I'm going to clear this off again uh, I would like my ritual uh, dismantler. <laughs> really useful this thing. I didn't think it was going to be. And we'll build one more. We'll build one more ritual before we finish, which is another one that surprised me uh, rather a, a lot as it happens. So what we're going to build is the, the ritual of the satiated stomach. And let's have a look. Is it? I'm not sure where it is in the, in the thing. Probably a later one than that one. Container. Some of these are also very interesting ones. Here we go. Ritual of the satiated stomach. Have a look what it tells you about. It takes food from a linked chest and fuels the player's saturation with it. It does more than that, I can tell you. So let's just set this up. You'll see at the moment I'm... Well, no food, food in this chest because we didn't break it around. But if I put the fish in here, I'm full at the moment, yeah? So what I'll do now is I'm just going to quickly get hungry. Now the easiest way to get hungry is by exiting the game and coming back in. See you in a second. And as you can see, my health is going up. And as soon as, as soon as, oh, did I activate this thing? No, not yet. As soon as it does it, you'll see as soon as my health, it doesn't even wait for my health to get, um, my food bar to get empty it fills it up straight away. Amazing, isn't it? So there you are. So that's the last one for today, that is. There are a couple more interesting rituals. Um, ones which are very useful for clearing out the Ocean Monument. I've actually cleared out the Ocean Monument over the other side, but there are some bits and pieces in there that I should have known about earlier would have made it even easier. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.